Do, we've kicked around an idea for a long time here in the studio of trying to make a game where you, you play the fantasy of playing the villain in one of those horror movies. I mean, a lot of us grew up in the 70s, 80s uh, with, with these classic horror movies, and we wanted to make a game where we could be that villain. We've been in business now for almost 27 years. Uh, we are Canada's largest independent developer and by the way, one of the largest independent developers in the world. We've worked on so many genres. I think that's one of the, the things that really uh, endears people to this place. Uh, we have very low turnover rates. People stay for a long time, mainly because every game cycle, every development cycle is something new. There's a time when you start when you're really small and you have to knock on everyone else's door to get known. Now we have people coming to us because they recognize our expertise. Uh, Dead by Daylight is uh, an asymmetrical multiplayer game uh, inspired by horror movies and it's a ridiculous success that's become a household name for a lot of players around the world. We launched with a very, very uh, bare-bones version of the game, a minimum viable product. What we released was complete, but since then we've added so much to it that literally that early game is unrecognizable today. The original game launched with three killers, four survivors, and I think 12 maps. Uh, today we have, I believe, 12 or 13 killers. We probably have 14 survivors. Depending on when this air, it's probably more than that at this point. We knew we had something very, very fun and very good. Uh, a lot of the experts that we uh, consulted told us that we'd probably get three, 400,000 people buying the game lifetime. That happened in the first couple of weeks. We're still in complete uh, expansion. Every day it's the best day we've ever had. Yeah, so when we launched, we, uh, we were about 35 people, maybe. Since then, we've decided to really invest in this. Uh, today, the team is about 108 people, uh, last time I counted. Uh, the, the three pillars of feedback that we uh, that we base our changes and tweaks and balance uh, on is the player feedback that we receive, whether it's surveys or us going through the Steam forums or the official forums or all these platforms. Uh, there's the analytics, so we have a very big team of data analysts that are constantly feeding us with what's actually happening in numbers in the gameplay every day. And then the third one is, is our gut feeling. I mean, we trusted each other to make a great game at the beginning, and to this day, we still trust each other to make good decisions about where the game should go. One of the biggest impacts that Dead by Daylight has had is that there is now a, a, a big desire at Behavior to create our own IPs. We now have this newfound uh, confidence that we can also create our own things and we can have a, a we can be recognized by the players themselves instead of just having that great reputation among the developers and the licensors of this world. Now the players also know who Behavior is and we want to bring them more of what we can do.